I just wanted some sauce on those zingers. All right, everybody. Yeah, I'm in a different setup right now. Hope you're having an awesome day. This is not the final form of the setup. I want to make that abundantly clear. I'm going to have some lights in the background, blackout curtains. I'm at Lauren's place right now. This is going to be my remote setup. So if there's any kinks with this, please be patient. It's a work in progress. At least it's functional now. I've been talking about this for weeks. So first and foremost, all right. I think I said first and foremost twice. Just a couple shameless plugs. Make sure you subscribe to Review Tech USA. I upload videos on a daily basis. And I also live stream usually on a fairly regular basis. So make sure you sub to the channel, leave a like and a comment. It helps in the algorithm. Also too, I have an ASMR channel that I will be putting plenty of content up this year called tech 25 asmr i already have plenty of content already i even have a video an asmr video talking about phil aka dsp gaming and i'll have a link to everything i mentioned below in the description and top pin comment so ram prices uh they kind of suck right now <laughs> They're through the roof. Uh, the prices are astronomical, which after listening to a Moore's Law is Dead podcast, I didn't even realize that earlier in 2025, RAM prices were, according to him, unnaturally low. So you could get good deals on huge amounts of memory. No more. This is because AI data centers are sucking up all the RAM. We have, like I always bring up, Micron, which made their consumer brand crucial memory, they're getting out of the consumer business just to make that sweet AI data center cash money. And uh, here is like, say you wanted to get a kit of memory, 32 gigabytes, which is kind of what you should be going for if you're doing a build right now. 16 is like what eight gigabytes was maybe back in 2018. Just, just to give you a frame of reference. So 32 gigabytes by ATEC. I have never heard of ATEC before. They like some, maybe they are a relevant brand and I've never used them. Anyway, brand I never heard of before, ATEC 32 gigabyte kit going for $346. How about some G-Skill? I'm actually a fan of G-Skill memory. I pretty much have bought them for many rigs that I've built in the past few years. Uh, 32 gigabytes here, 355 bucks. 32 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM. This is laptop memory, uh, 250, 409 bucks for uh, 32 gigabytes of RAM. It goes on and on. Well, because of this, uh, AMD and NVIDIA actually may be bringing back old CPUs and GPUs to make, if people want to build a PC, bringing back this older tech would be more affordable, mostly. I still think they're going to rip you off for it compared to what it was, but nonetheless, they're going to give affordable options. And I could say that the Zen 3 chips and the 3000 series GPUs still hold their own. So let's see what CPUs AMD may be bringing back. I think they're going to because they still want to make money off the consumer market and try to make things more affordable. This is uh, coming from Tom'sHardware.com. AMD Ryzen chief teases return of older Zen 3 chips to fight soaring RAM prices. In a roundtable interview, Tom's Hardware attended at CES 2026 in Las Vegas. AMD's David McAfee was discussing the sorry state of the ongoing chip crisis. Lord knows we know about it. And he let out a hint that AMD could bring back older AM4 desktop chips, presumably the 5000 series Ryzen processors, which are still pretty damn capable, and APUs based on the Zen 3 architecture. When questioned about the rock and hard place situation that these users are in, McAfee stated that AMD is certainly looking at everything that it can do to bring more supply and kind of reintroduce products back in the AM4 ecosystem to satisfy the demands of gamers that maybe want that significant upgrade in their AM4 platform without having to rebuild their entire system. Further adding that he thinks this is definitely something AMD is very actively working on. Also too, the Zen 3 chips will work with DDR4 memory, which has increased in price, but it's still significantly cheaper than trying to get new DDR5 memory. Like, so 
that's the thing. They could bring back these AM4 chips. They could you could use the older DDR4 memory, still get plenty of performance, and you could save a bunch of money. So if you desperately need a new rig or you just want to build one, I'm actually if this comes to fruition, which it seems like it does, maybe I'll do an AM4 build with an RTX 3060 GPU. Speaking of which, <laughs> uh RTX 3060s, NVIDIA's bringing those back. Well, it's rumored that they're bringing them back. This comes from WCCF Tech, and this is what they had to say. NVIDIA is reportedly going to recommence production of its RTX 3060 GPUs owing to the DRAM shortages. NVIDIA discontinued its GeForce RTX 3060 GPUs back in 2024. The original lineup, which was introduced back in 2021, I remember vid vividly when those came out, is still the most popular gaming graphics card on Steam, which is, I'm sure, which made them choose to bring back the 3060. And while the 4060 and 5060 are picking up the pace, it looks like NVIDIA might once again open up the production lines for this GPU. Now, this comes from Hang Jing 2020, which they say actually has a track record, a very solid track record of making predictions about NVIDIA. And he's saying they're going to bring back the 3060 in uh, quarter one 2026. He's also saying they're not telling if it's going to be the 12 gigabyte or 8 gigabyte model. I'm going to place bets. It's going to be the 8 gigabyte model. Come on. <laughs> nvidia's new 5000 their 5060 has eight gigabytes you think they're going to release a 3060 that they're giving as a budget option due to the ai memory crisis you think they're going to drop a 12 gigabyte card maybe they will if they do it's probably going to be a ripoff maybe even the eight gigabyte one will be a ripoff but cheap compared to what you could get other graphics cards for but it seems that it's all but confirmed that the 3060 line of cards is going to be back on store shelves also the reason why nvidia is doing this not because they predict price increases throughout the year for their 5000 series graphics cards but beyond the price increases it'll also help mitigate any shortages by bringing back the 3060 so they'll help satiate the demand of the consumer market now as you're seeing here i always love the uh, steam hardware surveys it's really interesting how they they break everything down and they can really see what hardware people are using which helps them improve steam and other products like what they're coming out with the steam machine they, they look at these things and also for compatibility reasons with steam os they look at the at, at these like what hardware is being used so they can broaden how compatible steam os is with different graphics cards with different cpus so on and so forth but as you're seeing here people are still on direct direct x9 all right no no one is <laughs> no one is is anyone uh 0.1 percent is on uh direct x9 shader 2b and 3.0 gpus so uh, there there's someone out there using a direct x9 card too but if you look down here uh the top dog graphics card for nvidia that's being used on steam is the rtx 3060 right behind that is the rtx 4060 laptop gpu so this is why they're bringing it back it's still a popular card the 3000 series is still a capable line of cards even though it's a few years old right now and they could bring it back for a lower cost people can afford it and they won't make the consumer base feel like they're being completely slighted even though they are being slighted by nvidia and amd and all the other different tech companies that are working with these ai data centers now one thing wccf tech says here that i think is funny if nvidia were were to reintroduce the rtx 3060 they could do so at an attractive price point of below 200 dollars us since only then would it make sense to gamers they're not going to do that the card is going to probably go for 320 to 350 US dollars. They're they're not going to bring it back at that price point. There's just no way, especially that they know people who need a card like this and maybe they have a very outdated rig and they just need to upgrade. They know they have them in a rock and a hard place. So they're like, oh yeah, here's the bargain option. Instead of spending seven, eight hundred, nine hundred, Lord knows how much on a GPU, you could get this few year old three thousand series card for the low, low price of three hundred and fifty bucks. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, they're not going to make it that cheap. It would be nice if they do. I'll eat my words and be happy, but I just don't see it. 
So I got to say that I'm not completely mad at this. I've seen some people online and I understand people are frustrated and I'm not throwing any shade their way. It's like, oh, great. AMD and NVIDIA are giving us old slop and Lord knows, especially NVIDIA, I have plenty of issues with how they run their company, but this isn't the worst thing that they could do. Um, look, the AI memory crunch ain't going anywhere anytime soon. I gave some positive news from Moore's law is dead. It isn't really positive news, but it's positive enough that he doesn't think it's going to be like this permanent crisis that everyone, including me has been a uh, fear. I guess you could say I've been fear mongering, even though I think the fear is genuine and it should be a concern that we may not see PC components like memory ever come down, but Hey, this is a good stopgap. And if you're in the market for a PC, cause your PC is really old. Hey, here is a good option for you. Also keep in mind, I don't, did I mention this before? If I didn't, it's kind of an important thing. Glad I remembered it. Now those Zen three processors, the 5,000 series chips, the AMD is probably, it's almost guaranteed that they're bringing back out. Uh, they work with DDR four again, which is significantly cheaper. If I'm repeating myself, that's okay. You're going to hear me say it again. So that's a big deal. It could work with more affordable memory. The 3060 will be a more affordable GPU. And who knows if this stuff actually comes out, maybe I'll do a PC build with these parts and see how these older renewed <laughs> parts from AMD and Nvidia, see how they work in 2026 for gaming and productivity. All right, guys, this is Rich of Review Tech USA signing out from my uh, interim makeshift secondary setup. Again, it will improve, and I will see you all in the next video.